Keep an eye on that. Now, RTE are busy telling us about the new gales, making sure that the Irish know your time will soon be over. I don't know how this affects the mental health of children, but it can't be good. I never grew up in an Ireland like that. It can't be good being told about the new gales. Folks, we've seen last week um, what these people over here do. They were calling Irish homeless people down in Galway Nazis. So the word Nazi means nothing. Let it, let it be, rub off your back like water off a duck's back. It has no meaning when it comes from their mouths. They don't even know what it means. They don't even know what it means. <laughs> now, another thing I, me I, I meant to mention about the NGO sector is they're trying to bring in hate speech laws to stop me and other people speaking about the exact things I am speaking about here, all of the issues I have brought up. They tried to ban us from the internet when we bring up these issues. The UN tried to hide their documents on replacement migration. They take them offline, then they put them back up, then they take them down. But go and check these documents out and check out Project Ireland 2040. The people at home who are watching this, if you think any of this is a conspiracy theory. But folks, there is light at the end of the tunnel. This is, I'm gonna finish with this. We have, we have a party that is willing and wanting to address these issues. No other party in this country will even recognize any of these issues I have mentioned. And they're also the only anti-lockdown party that we have. And they are here today. So be glad that we have them, respect them, and tell your families and your people about them. We have to support them. It's the only way. Thank you to the organizers of this protest. Thanks to everybody who came. And thank you, that's it. Thank you.